Hello there. Um, so the other day, I actually was kind of shocked that I saw that uh, my channel has uh, received, uh, I now have uh, 200 subscribers. And honestly, I thought I never would hit uh, a number in the triple digits at all. And now, you know, I'm at like 200. It's uh, for me, it's pretty neat. I mean, just I'm just a guy sitting here talking about toys for the most part. <laughs> Uh, so if you are uh, one of my subscribers uh, thank you so much uh, it's it's awesome I think it, it's amazing that um, you know that you are here um, I just uh, thank you um, in honor of that I thought I would um, now uh, just review uh, two new figures and honest this is great unfortunately I don't have the third one the C3PO to round out the, the view on this um, because of you know the the move which is coming, <laughs> um, and we're about two weeks away as I film this. Uh, so everything in here has got to get finished packing up and then uh, loaded on a truck and headed headed south. So it's going to be uh, uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> Lots of stuff to do still. So if you know if I'm pretty infrequent on putting videos up, uh, you'll know why. Um, so. You know, again, uh, yes, thank you again for being a subscriber. But anyway, back to the figures at hand here. Uh, so now I finally got all three of these droids figures from Target, and uh, I'm so happy that they came in before. My my feeling was it was like two days before the move. Uh, oh, they're shipped, and okay, great. Now where are they going? <laughs> but anyway, go back to this, and so. Again, glad I got enough to uh, to fill these out. Um, of course, because it's Target sending these out, and they are not really a collectible company, say like a Dorkside Toys or a Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth. Of um, you know, they are. You get, you get what you get. Um, I was lucky that my C three PO the cards were pristine. These not so much, but. Again, not horrible, uh, but there is like a little, you can see it there, a little crease here on this guy. Um, little thing, not a big deal. I'm, you know, put it in a, I've got some protecto packs that I'm going to put these in. Um, the, the R2-D2 is a similar thing. There is a crease there, unfortunately. And a little thing down here. But again, like I said, these are in, and believe me, these are the better of the cards. The opener cards that I got were not even, were not as good as this. I mean, here, I'll show you. So that was, this is the Boba Fett one that I, that I opened. And it's, it's creased even worse up here. But, and the R2-D2, kind of the same thing. There's a big, big crease up there and no one ding down here it's just you know what are you gonna do uh but i get good enough and these are showing up in stores now a lot more um and apparently these are actually easier to find than a lot of the others so you know it might be if i see one and it's in a really it's in really good shape i'll get it um but i mean if i never see these in the wild I'm happy with what I got. All right, so I'll just I'll put that out there. But um, so let's just kind of look at them. So right, I'll bring it up here. So again, I love that they are mimicking uh, vintage packaging, and especially like a line that was you know I was kind of a little too old uh, when these started coming out with the droids figures. But I love the look. So you have uh, you know the animated stuff from the cartoon, and you know. The old, the old 80s cartoon droids is on Disney Plus, and if you've never watched it, give it a watch. It is, it's campy as hell, but it's really kind of fun to watch. I mean, especially like, if you, you know, I was kind of a little, you know, at that point I was kind of getting into my teenage years, and it was just like uh, different priorities at the time, so I didn't really get to watch it that much but man it is just so fun to see it's you know just to kind of bring you back to that time uh 
but anyway so here's the R2 you got that nice gold coin and again how they have them shifted on the uh, opposite side of the car than the regular TVC figures is, is really kind of cool Got that Kenner logo there and uh, just a neat uh, the animated style we'll get a better look at the figure in a bit but I tell you on the, on the bubble he looks really good and um, again I you understand that these were you know geared towards the carded collector and awesome you know this is again I don't have a huge carded collection that I display I should say um, but you know just having these you know these these are definitely some that you know yeah they got to be got to be displayed carded as so there's the three and uh, I will link at the end of the video my review of the C-3PO um, he's yeah there it's a neat figure and uh, but again so here you have your R2 and your Boba Fett and then here we go okay C-3PO protocol droid and translator and then it says the same thing in different languages R2-D2 feisty maintenance droid Boba Fett notorious bounty hunter and okay again Part of the 50th anniversary Lucasfilm line here, and they even added the Droids cartoon for 1983. You know, so that must have come out like that, that fall. I don't think the movie came out in the spring, but again, so there's everything there, and uh, it's all that legalese that we all love, and uh, so there you go. And uh, let's take a look at the FET here. And that's another great look from the show, the, the way they have FET. <laughs> C-3PO just poking his head out the back. I think it was really good. And, uh, yeah, I've always kind of, I mean, you think the first time we ever actually saw Boba Fett, he was animated in the, the holiday special that George Lucas absolutely hates. And uh, if you ever watch it, <laughs> there is a YouTube channel that has it up, the whole thing, and oh, my God. It's so hard to get through, <laughs> um, but I gotta remember watching it as a kid, and uh, man, just those those old variety show holiday specials, man, they were just so nuts. But again, you got that coin there that looks really good. And he, he looks really good on the car as well. Um, I've heard, I've seen reports like on the TVC uh, Facebook page couple other Star Wars collecting pages that I go to and uh, even in general Defender talking about there is a running change of uh, him like the uh, with or without the braids both of mine have the Wookiee braids um, so I don't know how rare that other version is but and there's of course Boba Fett and his animated coloring there Great. Okay, and the back here is pretty much the same. Uh, so there we go. Now looking at the figures again, you know these are, you know, repaints of figures, and we get what you get. And uh, so we have the R two here, and I mean it looks cool. I don't know, not really. I don't know if you could really just put him with. The other droids that I have. Oh, there's like a little elastic band on him. Look at that. Let me get that out of there. Oh, that is a. Uh, that's odd. I guess it's trying to hold in that. Man, that is weird. But get that off of him. Sorry about that. You know, you're kind of seeing how the sausage is made, huh? But yeah, okay, a little elastic band. I, know that. I guess that's just to keep these from popping out. But yeah, this is the, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I was wondering, yeah, so this is basically the uh, the VC-25 R2-D2. So you have the little, and it, okay, I honestly, you know, I'll say this isn't my favorite droid sculpt, but it's not, you know, the worst thing in the world either. Yeah, see, that's why that pan was on her, but oh well. Um, you know, I, I really don't like this because I like the idea of the sensor scope, but you know, you, you push the, the, the middle leg here and it pops out. But it, you know, it's just, 
it you know it, it pops out very well oh look at that it's not but it, it does come out pretty easily at times and I guess the other one you know the VC25 came with the lightsaber to put in there and all that other stuff and of course when it's all the way in there also you can't turn the head and that's kind of irksome but you can you know it's you have to take this out completely so you can turn the head around and then it's got this okay so again not my favorite sculpt of RTD2 I if we're talking I think the best RTD2 to come out was probably um, well there's the I think it's 30th anniversary collection the uh, the bar 2d2 um, you know he comes with the little serving set um, that was a really good one uh, personal favorite of mine is the um, it was the uh, power of the force 2 uh, the Comtech one I actually have one in my Millennium Falcon because um, it's a really good A New Hope R2 um, and I, yeah it, it just really kind of I, I like the sculpt the size of it and you know it's just it was a really well done figure uh, and I have quite a few of those which is odd because they were kind of hard to find uh, yeah, it came with a little holographic Leia and uh, so that was the rare one but I was lucky I got a bunch of those and I used them all over the place in display so I, I, I honestly think that was probably the best one uh, but you know so you got the this repainted guy and he's repainted in an animated style I mean it looks good I don't know like I said I don't know if I could put him like say in my rebel hangar display or something but you yeah, know looking at him a little more I think you could probably pull it off um, so and uh, it does you know with the articulated feet and stuff so he does you know look good he can be tooling around uh, like I said the only thing I don't like is you know the, the limited that limited head movement is really kind of tough uh, not a lot of detail painting on this but again animated style and if you look at the animation style of the droids cartoon there's not a whole lot of you know they you know a whole lot of detail and I mean you can see it from the card there I mean so you know he looks good for that you know what it is um, the one stand out for me and the one I'm really happy to get here is is the Boba Fett I, I do love like first off you know they're using the VC 186 sculpt here and uh, oh god you could, they could reuse this till the cows come home with uh, repaints and stuff like that I mean other than the minor gripe of you can't move the rangefinder I am not yeah I still love this figure I think he's one of the standouts in the entire uh, vintage collection period I mean he just really good um, well articulated so he's basically you know he is straight up you know the same figure I mean hey, here I'll show you there he is I mean it's the same thing I mean every little blemish every little ding and you know it was because of the animated style as well I mean you look at it from there they're matching the coloring there but he, you know he's got the dent in the helmet and all that I mean every little scuff on the chest plate where it's indented then it is is there and so but again you know so it's an outstanding figure you know and they've done animated like Oh God! Thirtieth anniversary when they were doing their Macquarie sculpts. Um, well, there was another one that came out around that time. They did they did the animated debut. Maybe was that Legacy Collection or thirtieth anniversary? I can't remember right off the top of my head, but uh, I you know I have that. If you look where not where I have like my Mandalorians, I put them in there, and this guy's going in there as well. He just looks great. I think yeah. So. And uh, so again, little more simple on the paint apps. Not a whole lot of different color variations here. Uh, again, that's not a complaint. They're matching the animation style. Uh, but yeah, he's he really looks good, and will look good on my shelves in the new home <laughs> when I get to do that. When I after getting everything settled the last thing I'll get to do is my office um, 
Another neat little part with these is the coins. And uh, so I have all three here. And this has been sitting on my desk, the C-3PO coins. So they went with the gold coins for these. And uh, so you got the Boba Fett and the R2-D2 there. Both look really cool. And you have the stuff on the back. But the Droids cartoon, the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. And uh, so the backs are exactly the same. It's the fronts here. Um, okay, so we were comparing. Uh, this was in the last video. I don't remember if I compared it to a coin or not. But somebody had asked me a question in there. So I figured I'd show you here. Um, so here is, this is my Hermie Odal coin from from the 30th anniversary collection with the coins and okay so you have this yeah but uh job of the huts tattoo on the back of this and but you look at this little coin here and it's very light and it's also very thin so this one is a bit thicker maybe about a by a half um you have the ridged ends as compared to this and so it's definitely a nice heavy coin it looks really good I you know it's they were putting coins in the cards like for vintage you know after I had stopped collecting I was gonna you know, outgrowing it at the time and I, I would love to if I had like a vintage coin to check it to compare these with but I don't I don't uh, but you know these are very sturdy the gold on them is, looks really nice so these will definitely go up somewhere. I actually, it's like I have a bunch of military coins, you know, the challenge coins. Here's a couple from my back in the day. And uh, this is the uh, first op squadron I was in as an officer, my missile squadron there, for peacekeeper missiles. Uh, and then this was the last squadron. So, oops, oh, goodness, great. Uh, if anybody knows, I probably owe a round. Uh, but yeah, the challenge coins for the uh, neat military tradition here. So this is uh, two SOPs, the uh, Second Space Operations Squadron. They uh, fly GPS satellites. But you know, I'm thinking I have a display like of co of different challenge coins on my desk at work. I'm, I wonder if I could sneak these in. <laughs> if anybody would notice, it'd be kind of, kind of funny. Um, be kind of you know, kind of need to put these three in there. See if anybody notices what they are. But, uh, yeah, so uh, the coins are a neat little touch there. Uh, one thing I did want to show uh, before I finish out here is the tray for uh, the Boba Fett here. So um, I, this is from the one that I took off. And uh, so, you know, you have the uh, the outer one. But this was actually three layers. I just thought I'd point it out. So you have with the, the figure was sit and this one. But there was one behind it that holds, holds his rifle and the jetpack. So I just thought that was neat, and I thought I would show that because I know a lot of people are getting these and strictly keeping them carded. You know, like I said before, that's exactly probably what they want. You know, the, it was designed for, and this. So I was just lucky to get some extras to open up because I do like putting. Like this guy's gonna look great on the Mando shelf. One, I my new Mando shelf, um, which will be sometime in the hopefully near future when I get that all set up. Um, but that should wrap it up for this one. Again, uh, 200 subscribers, guys. I am floored. Uh, it's amazing. Um, hopefully I can get to... I think my goal now is to get to 500 so I can have like a community tab on my page. Um, that would be a lot of fun. I can throw out like different, uh, you know, messages out like that. I, I think that would be a lot of fun. So, you know, again, um, so you really thank you so much for watching. Um, I do really appreciate it. Um, if you like what you've seen here, uh, hit the like button, um, you know, and I, I would really appreciate it. it Help the channel out a lot. Um, if you're already a subscriber, like as I said before, and I will always say it all, every time, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you're not, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Would love to have you as part of the channel. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me, tell me what you think okay, about, you know, um, about these figures and it's something you're still trying to find. I, you know, like I said, I've seen reports that are really kind of showing up. Um, a lot of them are like, what was I say? It was like an end cap and like 
like the ch- toddler section or something. Some weird. They're showing up in weird spots. So um, it's Target guys. <laughs> I mean, they're, so just you know, it's it's kind of odd like that. But again, that's all I got for now. Um, thank you so much again for watching and 200. I'm still kind of I can't believe it. But thanks a lot so much, everybody. And until next time, may the force be with you. Remember, the force will be with you. Always. The force will be with you.